Been numerous flooding issues out there, and we want to take you to another location. Meteorologist Lauren Casey is live in Cherry Hill, where the flooding was a big issue earlier today. Lauren. Yeah, I'm here in Cherry Hill on Route 38, where it remains closed in both directions from Chapel Ave until up to until uh, Cuthbert Boulevard due to high water. This morning, several occupants of multiple vehicles that are still submerged were rescued by EMS and the fire department after becoming trapped in this high water. Thankfully, no one was hurt. An officer told us that crews will be out here working to get this water pumped out. And for these drivers, a slow and frustrating commute turned into a dangerous one. That's why it's so important. Important to when encountering a flooded roadway to turn around, don't drown. It's impossible to tell how deep that water is, and it only takes 12 inches of water to float most vehicles. The PM commute, as Katie was talking about, will be better. The heaviest rain has moved out, but turn around, don't drown is an important safety protocol to remember as we are just entering severe weather season. So this scenario is likely to reoccur as we head into the next several months. But yeah, right now, still the these cars trapped and submerged in this water cruise will be working to clear some of this water out for the afternoon commute looking a lot better for us. But for now, reporting live in Cherry Hill, I'm CBS 3 meteorologist Lauren Casey. Back to you. All right, Lauren, thank you. And you can keep track of the storms anytime. Just use your smartphone, download the free CBS mobile weather app today. You can find it in the Apple app and Google Play stores.